I'm a bricklayer by trade. An operator band, so. Put down as a tool setter. Printing cardboard boxes. So I, I work as a labourer on a construction site. Stacking boxes. Got a bit of hard skin around there. Typical kind of builder's hands. Bleeding hands. You know, cracked skin and uh, bleeding. Just general wear and tear of just handling everything really. House bricks and stuff, the after effects of working with plaster leaves your hands quite dry. If your hands are really sore, it, it does affect your, um, your grip on a, on a box. Because you try to hold it in a different way where you're not going to feel any pain. Not being able to make a cup of tea. Well, if you've got infections on your hands, you have to be very careful. You can't give a baby a dummy. Not being able to use a knife and fork properly. I won't be able to pick them up or, you know, get involved, interact with my kids, so. Creams are always always available on sites, generally. There is a barrier cream you can use. It doesn't smell very nice. Uh, it was so bad and smelly. Uh... They take a long time to be absorbed into the skin and they leave your fingers greasy. Don't like the grease. They don't soak in quick enough. Sometimes find a towel to, to wipe it you know, wipe them dry. I haven't found one that's suitable for myself. I like that. It smells quite nice. Yeah, it does feel softer already. It has, it's, it's, it soaks, soaks in straight away. The smell of it, isn't it really nice? Yeah, I could use that all the time. <laughs> There's nothing else I'd, I'd, I'd be looking for in a cream, to tell you the truth. I think if you looked after your hands properly and, and you did use this, this sort of cream, I think it'd, it'd cut down on major issues at work, yeah. Can I take this with me? <laughs> it, it is very good. <laughs>